Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Troy Allen Goliath. Welcome to Trigger Time TV. Welcome back to Trigger Time TV. I'm Tim Burke, retired Green Beret and the founder and creator of the Tactical Games and Recce Challenge. The Recce Challenge is based on a sniper event, but the Tactical Games, when I invented it in 2017, was based on the premise that we often shoot on the range without moving, creating training scars. And I could sit at a 50 yard spot and shoot a target accurately all day as long as I was at rest. But once my heart rate and my respiration rates went up, uh, that changed the whole dynamic and obviously makes shooting accurately a lot harder, more difficult. When I created the tactical games, the idea was to create a simulated combat experience where your heart rate was up, your respiration rates were up, and it forced you to apply the fundamentals at a high enough level that you could overcome the duress under which your body was placed by the exercise. We couldn't shoot at you, so we used exercise, uh, lifting weights, dragging things, carrying things, uh, climbing over walls, that kind of thing, to elevate the heart rate, uh, elevate the respiration rates, and increase the difficulty. Obviously, in the tactical games, we did that by, uh, we increased or decrease the difficulty by increasing weight and decreasing time, thus putting stress on the person slash their body and their skill sets. What we found and what I found from the special operations community prior to creating the tactical games was there's an inverse relationship to performance dropping as physical stress was introduced to the body. So the more physical stress we put on the body, the higher the heart rate, the less uh, able we become with our fine motor skills and our gross motor skills take over. At about 160 beats a minute, you start to see a degradation in those fine motor skills. You start to see tunnel vision and uh, people get stuck on target and target lock, uh, what we call it sometimes. So. All the drills that we do out on the shooting range should revolve around increasing stress in a controlled environment so that when we get into the real world situation, we've already been there. We've already felt what that feels like and it's not a surprise to us. So we all know what an El Presidente is. Generally, you turn, you shoot two rounds in each target of three targets, you do a mag change, and you shoot two rounds coming back for time. I love that drill, but I like to add a physical element so that I get my heart rate and respiration rates up. I'm scaling it pretty small here today because we're on camera, but you can spread out the targets and you can spread out the distance that you're gonna use in order to increase the difficulty here. But what I'm gonna do is facing away on the command of go, turn, draw my concealed carry gun, put two rounds in each of the targets, run to a secondary location, put two rounds in the targets, run back, and then we'll finish up. And here's what it looks like. Ready, up. I practice a tactical mag change. And I move back. As you can tell, I didn't really get my heart rate up or my respiration rates up, but again, I scaled that for this demonstration. If you're shooting on the range and you're not getting your heart rate and respiration rates up, you're cheating yourself you're robbing yourself of an incredible opportunity to prepare for the real world. Remember, keep the fight 
in gunfight. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Bravo Company Manufacturing, Bravo Company USA, Beretta, Hornady, Sako, Tika, Skinner Sykes, Car Arms, Thompson Auto Ordnance, Magnum Research, Night Vision, American Technologies Network, High Point Firearms, Yankee Hill, Walther, and Biggest Finest Revolver.